love this city, I just hate how they're building it. I love it from afar. Yeah. Looking at it, but I don't want to go in there. I just, oh, I just the whole Sydney, it's just, I see too much greed and not enough for the people. Yeah. You know, we made four mega parks for Western Sydney and we brought in two million people. It's like, and we don't make parks in local suburbs anymore. We don't build pools anymore. Look at that for a classic boat. That is beautiful. Smell it, eh? That's that's sewage. That is sewage. That's disgusting. Where do they pump it? Like, where's the pump? Where they pump it off? I, it, you get a real strong smell off this jetty. They're letting it out there, and then God knows where else. But we also had this big factory fire down here a couple of weeks ago, and it was in Duck Creek. So when they flushed it, it went into duck like the canals, the drains. When we got these rainstorms, it's pushed it in the dark. This smell and this could be the fire retardant coming out of Duck Creek. You'll never, never know because EPA don't do anything. And uh, well, yeah, when it's pushing down, it's pumped it out, boys. I get every so often in my comments, I get people saying, "You whinge a lot. Why don't you do something?" And I don't think people realise that. Well, I don't think they realise how many times I've been slandered, how many times I've rung up and reported things, how many times they come out. Oh, this stinks. Hey, this is rotten. You notice there's not many people around anymore? Like, it's yeah, that... I mean, where the fuck is everyone? Is it cafe club? Last time I was here, it was the same. There was no people. And it stinks of sewage. And it's like, man, I've tried every trick in the book to change things. And I really think I've got the answer this time. I need to get some ambitious, intelligent people involved with it. I need to get a GoFundMe for not, not for personal profit or money, but to pay for solicitors and then we need to identify the five biggest polluters in Sydney and then we need to do a class action lawsuit against them and sue the fuck out of them because they deserve it they deserve this is this this is my I love this place mate I don't want to fish it I really don't want to fish it I know sometimes I'll start from opposite the boat ramp or even all the way around it yeah fucking point of home with bait and I'll drift like it you can, yeah, yeah, just stay down here all day. You can smell that sewage, eh? It's either sewage or it's dead fish, something like that. Look, we'll have one quick fish while we're here and I'm going. I, I just disgust. It's, it's breaking my heart because I know how good all these places are. It's my favourite down here. Yep. Because you yep. can fish both sides of it too. Yep. And those mangroves are proper. I know. It's just wrong, man. It's wrong. But I honestly think we're going to stop it. The only way, you know, look, Labor, Liberal, the Greens, Independents, none of them, none of them are going to uh, help you because we've already tried all that. Sydney Water, Waterway, um, Hazmat, none of them are going to do anything. This is, this is the beginning of a fish kill. Like, this is the beginning of a fish kill. What is the same colour as this Yeah, yeah, look at it. I mean, you've been looking at all that. We pulled up this morning. Um, now I need, I don't know where they are, we pulled up this morning and it looked like this, so we went into the harbour, I was under the impression that we'd come back out and uh, all that, good, push, all that good water would push in, but there's too much of this stuff, and I'm not, it's hard to make, I like, say what's actually happened, because we're not scientists, but at the same time, I've had enough experience with chemical fires, I've had enough experience with fish kills, and with everything else that I've seen, to know this is fucked up. Just fucked up. Horribly fucked up. What do I want to use? I want to use you. Wrong, isn't it? 
This stinks. You know why I get so angry? It smells more when the breeze stops. Yeah. Yeah, but do you know why I get so angry? Because we all know this. Like, I would say I get 2,000 people watch the video, right? Most of them have never seen one of these series signs. Most of them don't even believe that series is in here. If 6 million people that lived here knew what they were doing to us. You know, they, they talk about forever chemicals, but the PFAS, it's evil. Everything I've studied about, it, it's evil. And they still continue to let us use it. Yeah, oh, they won't. Look, when they had the big fish kill uh, the other, the other, other year down here. Hey? No? no, why? They use my footage. Your video. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, but that's I don't care. It's like the whole idea was to highlight the problem. They used your video and then they interviewed Alan McGlashan or whatever. Did they? Yeah, because. Yeah, uh, his opinion counts. I know I shouldn't swear, children are watching. I'm trying not to swear anyway, I get in trouble at home all the time. Yeah, everybody that uh, knows that guy reckons he's a top bloke, so it's just more... Oh, I'm only dirty because I said I was doing at the bar and he snubbed me. Yeah, and he did the same to me. But yeah, no, I just get slandered by councils and... They put out these public statements saying that I'm a bit of a loony. But then again, maybe I'm just a wanker. Well, I'd like to grab hold of somebody and make them drink this. We'll catch a fish here and make them eat it. Yeah, I don't want to touch the water. I, I don't want to be here. I, honestly, when you... I come down and I see this. I'm so disgusted with it. I don't want my gear. I don't want to be on here. It takes the fun out of life. And we could have stayed up there, caught another 20, 30 fish in the harbour. But I, I love coming down here for that, you know, tide's right, everything's right. Yep. Yeah, but you know, every man and his dog eats them in uh, Botany Bay, the flathead. And geez, if you see what comes out of that Cooks River, it's worse than it's worse than this. It's just wrong, man. Horribly wrong. I mean, highly productive from all the hard so if we get to the end of it, there's no point. Mate, if we don't have six or seven fish by the time we hit those mangroves, um, there's something wrong. And I'll, I'll be surprised if we get eight fish. But how many people got addicted to land-based fishing and then you say, well, people will say to me all the time, we're, we're going to take my kids for a fish. This is bullshit, mate. Look at this. What spins me out is the po population of Sydney that they don't look at it. They really don't look at the water. You know, like, I was a kid. I'd go to every jetty, I'd be looking at the toads and the angelfish, you know, seahorses, things like that were fascinating to me. And it's like, these kids here, they just look at this dead brown water, they don't have a clue what's in it, or what should be in it, I should say. Yeah, cabarita? just got a bite, I think. Yeah, yeah, cabarita? Yeah, you and me both caught a seahorse at cabarita. Yeah? Yours was dead, was it? Yeah, I didn't realise how small it was. Oh yeah. Well, I had a mate and he used to put a little uh, bait trap in here. There's one. Oh. He used to put a bait trap in here and he used to get seahorse all the time. Have them in his tank. Like that many people when I was young had seahorses in their fish tanks. Did you get a hit then? No, I lost one. Ah, because I just got whacked. So it's a little bit clearer on that edge. Still stinks like shit. Oh, that was a good fish. No, nah, they, they just look. There'd be a few, the few fish that I'm drawing. You got to remember they're normally up there looking for crabs. Well, how are they going to get a crab in this water? They might be on the outer edge of this mangrove more, but they definitely their food source would be very hard to uh, 
to, it'd be hard for them to eat today in here. And then the thing about these places is when this flush is out and it all comes green again, the fish come back. And, and the comment in my page the other day, the Cook's River is the same. You know, they're like, oh yeah, you'll get good fish and just wait a few days after the rain when it all flushes out, fish come back. Did you watch the video of that bloke that started right up in the canal? Was that the, the kayaker? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was cool, man, because just the fact that he highlighted how bad it was and got like a million views. Um, unfortunately, it's just nothing ever happens. But at least it was highlighted. Oh, come on, ride this one. Yeehaw. This sucks. Hey, mate. Where'd you go, mate? It's disgusting, eh? Pass me, um, 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 flies, please. Oh. They don't. Just what? reckon you're going to swim in in two years? Well, this is the thing. They keep trying to tell you that you could swim in this, and it's like, if you swim in this, you're going to end up with some sort of cancer. I made it one, one day down to the Caraferry Terminal. And, um, well, shouldn't there be a warning? No swimming? There's, right there's a news crew down there. And they interviewed me, but I never made it. Never made it on telly. But swimming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're asking, I'm like, oh, right, what do you reckon? They're talking about cleaning the harbour up and yeah. Yeah, you can swim along the Parramatta River. How do you feel about that? I said, mate, well, I don't have the boat box. Yeah. I said, I've got a brand new boat. At least the brown stain on it. I launched it at uh, Irvington. As soon as I got home, and I went to hose it off, all the stickers fell off the trailer. <laughs> so no, mate, I won't be swimming that. Yep. Do that now. And which makes me think it may have been some agenda. So I was just dead against it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. No, I never me made it on the telly. The media aren't like the old days. You know, you hear this old fake news and all that. Well, it's, it's dead set true. You got no no news reporter gets out and looks at this water and smells it and goes, let's investigate the dodgy stuff that's obviously going on. Um, they're not gonna do that. And it's like, why? Because they get press releases given to them off the same people that are doing the polluting. Yeah. There was a lady at the water board, right? I ran into her one day and I begged her to go up to Haslam to check it out. She started sending me uh, text messages and she was saying the boss of the water board wanted to come out fishing and all this and then because she admitted to me on camera about the pollution in Warragan Dam, how the PFAS and now this urbanisation the sewerage is getting into it. She rang me up and said, oh, can you take all that video down? So I took it down, you know, what she said. Anyway, and then about three more weeks went by and I tried to get hold of her and all of a sudden... I almost gagged. Mate, that, that is vile. I almost gagged. Hey, guys, we're sitting here on the Parramatta River and this is disgusting. The smell, the smell, it's just horrific. I can't believe. Where's the warning signs? The old, you were saying the old Japanese dude was swimming this morning? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's an old guy down here who swims every day. He was swimming in this. And my God, did you smell it back there? Yeah, I nearly gagged. Oh, that's why I stopped with the camera back on. I, that is disgusting. Fucking disgusting, it's got to stop. This is what you get fishing in Sydney Harbour or Sydney, full stop.